communication is not always one directional. Some this is where custom events come in. And trust me, they are extremely powerful. Welcome back to the LWC series. In last video, we learned how the parent component can pass data into a child using the API decorator. But communication is not always one directional. Sometimes child need to tell the parent, hey, something's happening here. Or maybe the child has user input or a row was clicked or an action needs an approval. This is where custom events come in. And trust me, they're extremely powerful. In this video, we will break down exactly how a child can send data back to the parent in the cleanest and most modular way. In Lightning Web Components, the child and parent each live inside their own DOM boundary. Because of this, the child cannot directly modify variables inside the parent. It can reach up into the parent and change the state. And that's actually a good thing. It protects the structure of UI and prevents strange and hidden side effects. So when the child wants to communicate upward, the only clean and officially recommended way is to dispatch a custom event. Think of it like a child raising its hand and saying, Parent, here's some data. Do something with it. Then the parent listens for that event, catches it and handles it. Now, let's start with a simple, very common example where the child wants to send a message to the parent when a button is clicked. This could be anything. Maybe child wants to notify the parent that the user has selected a row or click next or completed an action. Here's how we build it. So, since it's the same setup which we have used in previous videos, we have scored on the same org. Now, let's go ahead and use the same child and parent component and now we do is the opposite way. So, now let, let me quickly grab the code so here i have just added a button and a handle click event now let's bring the handle click code for this button all right now our child component is ready let's get the parent component code ready and in parent component whatever the event that we are receiving we are processing that in the handle message function so let me add the handle message function into our parent component real quick all right now we have our code ready let's try to deploy it and see how it works all right our child component has been deployed now let's deploy our parent now we have deployed our parent and child now let's refresh the, our app and then see how it works okay the third one was our previous part where we do communication from parent to child now we are doing from child to parent so let's see there we go so as soon as i click a message from the child component i have the button element in my child component as soon as i click on it my handle click method will be triggered and inside handle click i'm throwing a custom event where the event name is send message and the detail is hello parent and i'm dispatching that event and that dispatched event will be listened by the parent over here as soon as uh, this on send message will keep listening to that as soon as it catches any response any or any event it will process it will take that whole event data and transfer it into the pass handle message method and inside that all our data contains inside the detail node of the event so from detail we are getting the message and that we are appending into the here that's how it is being rendered as a hello parent all right now let's see how an child component contains an input field how the data is being passed from child to parent so overall in the child we are doing only two things creating a custom event name send message and passing a detail object which contains the data we want the parent to receive the detail object can contain anything text numbers objects ids arrays there are absolutely no restrictions All right now let's go ahead and see our other example how an input data is being passed from child to parent okay. static messages are really great for understanding the concept but in real project you mostly send dynamic data so as i said now we are going to see a child contains an input field and the parent needs to know what the user type now let's see how it works so i'm just adding an simple input field to the child component and i have an event on change on on change i'm calling handle input change so let me quickly add the handle input change method over here and that handle input change method eventually throws a custom event that is being which detail is the typed value that's a dynamic data here we were sending hello parent as a static now it will dynamically fetch from the input and then it will pass to the parent now our child component is ready let's set up our parent to receive this input now let's first deploy our child component and then we'll go ahead and deploy our parent component perfect now we have our both the components deployed now let's go to our app and refresh the page there we go. now we see the third one so now let's this is the child component where i'll be typing something and then that message will be displayed over here so this is the message which we were displaying earlier and then let's say yes. so for each value 
enter on change for every value change the event will be triggered and then a custom event will be dispatched and parent will listen to the custom event and it will render it to the parent component this pattern is incredibly useful as the user types and the child dispatches the new value the parent listens updates its own variable and re-renders automatically this makes your ui feel responsive clean and fully reactive all right now let's see why this pattern is important this event driven approach is at the heart of modern ui architecture not just in salesforce but in react angular or pretty much every component based framework it keeps components isolated reusable testable and predictable it, your child doesn't need to know anything about parents logic it simply broadcasts a message all right now let's do a quick recap so to summarize child components for custom events using dispatch event that's first thing we learned in this video and then parent component listen using on and then event name it's just you have to add on at the start of every event name everything is small lowercase and data is carried inside event dot detail this creates clean modular and upward communication in next video we will look at how two sibling components communicate using pub sub which is perfect when neither component is parent nor child